Hey guys, this is Cornelius from Soulful Speaking. Um, I just changed operating system. I used to use Windows. I'm now a Macintosh user, hence the video camera. I find it absolutely amazing. Um, I wanted to make this video blog because I guess my band has been one of the most camera shy bands in metal. Everybody else around us, they're going on tours, um, they're releasing live DVDs, you see them on music television and in many places. You people who see this on YouTube or um, our website, MySpace page, solarfall.no, you get a tiny impression of who um, at least one of us are. You might know Lars through one of his numerous television appearances in Norway because that is incidentally his his profession. Um, if you think the whole setup here looks a bit Latin American, I uh, guarantee you it is. I'm currently on um, work vacation in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Um, I'm trying to learn some Spanish. Um, I haven't learned anything more than two words yet. Uh, it's coming it's coming slowly. I will, by the end of the month, uh, be getting there, so I hope. Um, the reason for my being here is not only boring you with speech, it's also uh, my wanting to tell you something about what happens in the Soulful camp. We have been uh, pretty bad when it comes to informing you, simply because we are not five people in the band, we have always just been a two-piece, which is how it will remain also. Um, to this date we have released six full-length albums and um, one demo cassette, which was re-released on a um, remix slash uh, demo compilation on my own label, Von Jackal and Human, last year, so that makes six or seven CDs. We've been around for a while and uh, we plan on continue, continuing making music, which is uh, what we started out doing and what we both love, Lars and I. Um, one new thing to take notice of is that we have signed with um, the um, indie recordings label in Oslo. Um, They've actually signed us for two two label two albums, uh, which adds a sort of nice symmetry because with um, our very first label, Avant Card Music in Milan, Italy, we made two albums uh, for them. It was The Linear Scaffold in 1997 and Neonism in 1999. Then we changed label to Central Media in Dortmund. Uh, we made uh, Pills Against the Age of Sills 2001. Um, we also did In Harmonia Universale 2003, so comes 2005-2006, which saw the release on of our Icelandic Odyssey, Red for Fire, Black for Death, that was released by French label Season of Mist. Hi guys! Um, we are in um, sporadically in touch with our previous labels and hold only good sentiments towards them. However, now we are happy to be on Indie. Um, which also distributed our last three albums, it seems to me, uh, in Norway at least. So they know what we're about and that is why we signed with them. They are not only uh, business associates, they are also uh, as friendly as you get with um, other people in the music business. Um, we have a personal understanding and I hope uh, we will be at Indie Recordings for a long time. Um, I'm sure that many of you know our label mates. Um, there are a bunch of them. Borknagar, Enslaved, to name but two of uh, the acts to which we're related musically. Um, Vreid, um, a bunch of great guys, anyway. Our new album, I know that is what you have in mind. Um, I'll just, before I get to, to talking about the new album, I'll just confirm that um, there won't be a soulful tour. I'm sorry to say it, but um, I'm having such a great time in Buenos Aires. Lars has just become a father, so um, it seems unlikely to happen. However, the new album is coming. Um, all of the songs are written already, and um, 
I've laid down some demo guitars. Lars will begin um, the drum punching sometime in February, methinks, and um, from then on I will add my vocals in Berlin. Lars will find a vocal studio in in Oslo, a studio in where he could where he can do his vocals anyway. So for I Absolutely, the first time we will be working in different locations to in different countries. I possibly could um, make a recording in Argentina, but I just don't see why that would be interesting. Maybe um, return with a bunch of um, Sepultura clones and percussionists and make Chaos AD 2. How about that? Wouldn't that be something? Um, after we did the Icelandic Odyssey, um, the direction has been changed somehow. Uh, you will still feel that we are Solofeld and that that is the music we make. Uh, that was obviously always the point, that regardless of what kind of music we play, regardless of our riffs, um, you will recognize us. Um, even almost 15 years after we um, started we are still around and somehow I think you can recognize us by our sound. Um, much of it may sound a bit chaotic and um, because of the way we work in the studio I lay down vocal tracks, Lars comes after me and he takes up as much space as I do and um, he just sings over my vocals regardless of whether it suits the music or not. And that is, I believe, uh, some of our secrets, if we have a secret, apart from being great friends for a very long time. Um, I think you will like the new album. It's gonna be very guitar-oriented and guitar-driven, as many of them have started out as um, um, guitar songs, so to speak. I lay down the riffs and then we've been working on the songs in in tandem or Lars's arranged uh, keyboards orchestration for the songs on his side. Um, it's pretty aggressive and pretty fast. I have no material to show you because I hate giving away material that isn't finished. So you'll have to wait until the autumn to actually listening to the goods. Um, this here is just um, a way of spending time and of, um, I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to um, reinforce your belief in Solifal's future. I know it's been a long wait um, for the new album, three years, next year. This year actually we just... Um, entered 2009. So, Happy New Year to you. Um, I also wanted to say a word about the vinyl box. It is our intention um, to make the nicest vinyl box you've seen in your lives, with at least eight albums in it, um, and also a great book containing all our lyrics and a biography of the band. The problem is, in these times of downloading, where people think music are free and that it costs nothing to, to make it, um, I think Making such a box set would cost somewhere around, um, I have no idea, we haven't yet had a price quote, but somewhere between 20 to at least 20,000 US dollars, maybe 30, maybe 40 US, uh, thousand US dollars. Um, rather 20 than 40, but anyway, it's an insane amount of money to spend on something that people just might not want to buy. So currently, we're. Um, it's only financial reasons that keep us... Um, why we keep this, uh, put this a bit on hold, but we are going to get there eventually. That is our hope and intention. It would be very nice to see um, the first nine Soulfold albums in a box. Both Lars and I, we love boxes um, more than anything else. Um, I guess that is it for now. Um, take care. Thank you for listening to me and. Um, if you're nice boys and girls and um, write nice comments about this video blog, I might make one more. That's a threat or a promise, depending on your comments. Hasta luego.